hello guys and welcome to our youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video if you are coming across our channel for the very first time please do well to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post another video the video I'm about to watch right now is a very powerful prophecy from prophetess christiana Yunis. in this prophecy she has revealed shocking things that will be happening in nigeria as you all know ever since tinibu became the president of nigeria a lot of things have changed you know when buhari was the president of nigeria we thought that we are not going to see somebody that is going to be as that is going to be worse than uh, Buare, but it is so far Tinibu is really not doing well. I don't know if in future he will do better, but currently he's not doing anything better. He's not even in fact he's worse than Buare if you ask me. Because look at how prices of things have doubled. Look at how our naira have fallen to the dollar. A lot of things have really changed in Nigeria, and that is why I always encourage us to pray for Nigeria. In the video about to watch right now, Prophetess Christiana Yunis have reviewed that Nigeria is trying to to run but the more it tries to run the more it falls that nigeria is struggling and she has encouraged us to pray for nigeria she also reviewed that mazin and the color have been asked to sign something that he has refused to sign and that is why he has remained in prison that they want to release him but they want him to sign something i don't know what that thing is but she said that the reason why he has remained in prison is because he has refused to sign something and she also reviewed that nigeria is going to be celebrated that nigeria will become great again Let me not waste much of your time because she said a lot of things that i cannot finish seeing right now i will just allow you watch the video and then let me know what you think about it in the comment section please don't forget like the video and drop a comment so youtube can continue to recommend the video to more people thank you so much for doing that watch the video in that revelation i saw on a truck. You know when they are running rates on a truck. I saw different countries. I saw Nigeria. So, you know, the more Nigeria is trying to run, the more Nigeria is falling. The more it's trying to run, the more Nigeria is falling. The more it's running, the more it's falling. And I say, God, what is this? What is going on? Before you know it, an enablement came. An enablement came, and suddenly, that was an enablement of God. Then we suddenly saw Nigeria, those representing Nigeria, Nigeria itself, started wrong. Started wrong. Started wrong. As Nigeria was wrong, Nigeria got to the top and finished. Hallelujah. When Nigeria got to the top, when I looked round, see shouts, jubilation, victory. Everybody was shouting, clapping. I now saw, I said, what is going on? I saw the flag of Nigeria, green, white, green, being celebrated all over the world. Green, white, green. They were shouting. They were jubilating. They were shouting. And I said, God, what is this? And the Lord said, you have seen it. Then you know your country, they have been falling. They have been falling. They have been falling. But this time around, I want to bring an enablement. This thing they call green, white, green will become something that the world will reckon with. It will be something that the whole world will say. There is this giant they call Nigeria. And they will salute like this. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! I know to so many people, they will be like, we want a separation, we want this, we want the Afro, we want this, we want that. Well, I will not say what God has not shown me. Hallelujah! I will not say that. Please wait. Before you continue to watch this video, I want to encourage you to remember to pray for Nigeria. You see, whenever I ask us to pray for Nigeria, a lot of us get offended. But you see, Nigeria is the only country we have right now. We cannot run away from Nigeria. We cannot take because of these evil people that are ruling us, these people with that conscience, these men that are ruling us, and then we say that Nigeria is not our country anymore. No, we cannot do that. Let us continue to pray for Nigeria to intercede that God's will should be done in Nigeria. God bless you as you 
do so, continue to watch the video. But like for the case of our brother now, the reason why they are still holding me, I am seeing something that, unless we are under incoming government, but with this one, I am seeing something that they want him to sign. They want him to agree to. If he does not agree with it, let's leave it. That is what is still keeping our brother here. Namika, Mazi Namika. He's a great man. The cause he was fighting for, indeed, he was fighting for a good cause. Hallelujah. He was fighting for a good cause. But you know, different people are praying. This one is praying. That one is praying. God, what will happen? God will want to be Afra. God, is Nigeria still going to work? God will want to be Afra. But at the end of it all, it is God that will say whether Nigeria will continue or what, or not. Just like I said it before, I stood here, I know when the Lord asked me to come, but the Lord said, come to be Afra land. That was the language you used for me. He said, come to be Afra land. Then he now told me, I said, what is be Afra land? He said, be Afra land. It's Abia states. I'm back to be precise. Yeah, that's uh, where your brother came from. And I said, so, oh, okay, Abia state is really called the Afra, that's what the Lord calls it in the spirit. But before you know, the Lord told me, the Lord showed me, he said, this man, they will catch him. They will catch him. And I was saying, God, that is not the hope. And we still going to get the Afra, or is it still, is still going to be Nigeria? The people of God, this is the message I saw recently for your country, Nigeria. Nigeria has been falling, has been falling, has been falling. But suddenly, there was an enablement. And Nigeria got to the top. There was jubilation. We, as we saw the flag, the flag was flying all over the world. The, 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 the nation Nigeria was celebrated. Hallelujah. All over the world, the nation Nigeria was what? Celebrated. I saw the flag. Green, white, green. So all I will say is let the will of God be what? God. Let someone say, let the will of God. I can't hear you. So let the will of God be done. Mm -hmm. So it's not all about what we wish. Let the will of God be what? Be done. That's all we will say. Then the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of you that followed my prophecy, remember 2019, I stood the other day. I said, I'm seeing change. I said, I'm seeing, I said, I'm seeing change. How do you know a true prophet? A true prophet already prophesied. When there is nothing even happening. Hallelujah. I already prophesied this thing when nothing was happening. It's not now that they prophesied. Because they've seen the event. It's a prophesied. Me already prophesied even when nothing was what? Happening. So check my record. It's there. That's how you know a true prophet. Nothing is happening. But then you prophesied. Say, ah, see what will happen now. My mother, I told her, I tried to reach Nandi Kanu then. Even then, he was always on radio. Sometimes I will try to call him so that he can order to tell him on the radio. See, oh, no one will catch you. I took their WhatsApp number, sent the message to the WhatsApp, the message delivered. But maybe they feel that I'm a small person. Nigeria does not know me yet. Hallelujah. Maybe they will check me. They say, who is she? Maybe they will check me. How many followers? Who is she? Where is she? Abba, Obia, Makia, Liva. The one that you ignore, she be naive the prophecy there. Hallelujah. That's the thing that I'm a small pastor. In this stage, I am a world, I am a world prophet. World. World that people are supposed to be calling me for cancer. President are supposed to call me. God is supposed to call me. Please, what do we do? This is what we want to do. Come and ask me. I will pray. I will tell you God's mind. Not every pastor have that grace, but God will tell you this that. So these are the things. Gradually, the prophecies have been given. They'll be compiling a small scale. They'll begin to say, Who is this woman of God? I think we need to look into this woman of God. We need to check who is she. She has been talking since. But we know we know her because we feel she's small. Hallelujah. We feel she's small. Hallelujah. Well, God knows how he does his things. 
I believe you have heard everything that Prophetess Christina Innes have said about Nigeria. You see, Nigeria is struggling right now because of our leaders. Nigeria is going backward right now. If she says Nigeria is trying to run and Nigeria keeps falling, it is because our leaders are the people pulling down Nigeria. Nigeria can run very fast, but the people ruling Nigeria is like they are. If Nigeria try, as a country tries to move forward, they will drag Nigeria backward. How, look at how much they, have, they loot from Nigeria every day. How are we going to move forward if they continue to loot that amount of money day by day from Nigeria? It is impossible for Nigeria to move forward with the type of leaders we have. Leaders that don't have conscience, leaders that their major aim, their major concern is just to loot money, is just to steal from the country without doing anything i always say this at least even though you lose money at least do something for the people do something for the country nigeria up to now nigeria cannot boast of a world-class hospital that is why our leaders keep going outside to take treatment contributing to other countries growth instead of uh, growing our own country instead of building up our own country sometimes i wonder if these leaders they are actually nigerians I, I ask that question because a true Nigerian, a, 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 a person that loves his or her country, we make sure that his, country, his or her country develops. But these people, they are not like that. Their own is to loot and take it to another country. They will loot and take it to another country. Up to now, we are still recovering Abacha's loot. Imagine how many years ago Abacha left office. We are still recovering the money he stole. It tells you that these people, they are milking Nigeria dry. How can the country not fall when it tries to run? It will always fall. Imagine that every time they are taking blood from your body and they are not replacing blood. Every time they, you will always become weak. You will not, you will not have the energy to do anything. It's like somebody that is working very hard but is eating little. You are working like an elephant and eating like an ant. You will never have energy. That is what the case of Nigeria right now. These are our leaders. All they know is to borrow. They borrow. They will not use the money to develop the country. They will share the money. They borrow and share. They borrow and share. That is what they do. And we expect Nigeria to move forward. It will not work. That is why I always encourage us. Let us pray for Nigeria. Let us do where to pray for Nigeria and forget about these leaders. Because Nigeria is our country. It concerns us. These people don't care about the nation. If they care about Nigeria, they will do something about the country Nigeria. So please, let us pray for Nigeria. Remember to pray for Nigeria and proceed for Nigeria. That God's will should be done in Nigeria. Because we, don't, we cannot continue like this as a country. We cannot continue like this as a nation. It is too bad. It is just pathetic. Sometimes I think about Nigeria, I want to cry. Because I go to other countries and I see the way the countries are. And I ask myself, why can't our country, the richest country in Africa, why can't it be like this? At least steady electricity, good road, let us have those ones first, good hospital, pay our teachers, put everything in order. Then if you want to steal, you can steal. Even though stealing is not good, but I know that you cannot take it away from these people. It is in their blood. Stealing is in their blood. It's like it is part of their DNA. It's like they are born to steal. That is how come they will steal and steal and steal. They will not have remorse. That's okay. I have stolen enough. At least let me do something. It is too bad. So please, let us continue to pray for Nigeria. Let us remember Nigeria in prayer. And I know that someday Nigeria is going to be better, bigger, and greater again. Thank you so much for doing so. God bless you. Please, if you are coming across our channel for the very first time, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And don't forget to share this video on all social media platforms. Share it on WhatsApp and share with your loved ones so they will know what God is saying concerning our beloved nation, Nigeria. Thank you so much for doing that. Please like the video and drop a comment so YouTube can continue to recommend the video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next video. You are blessed.